Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. Got another video for you today showing you how you can use ConvertKit for your email newsletter for your website. Now, I've got a little test account here I've set up, I've got done a few videos on uh, showing you how to use ConvertKit, set up forms, automations, and all those bits and pieces. They'll be linked to in a playlist below. You can check all those videos out one by one. I've sort of broken them up for so you can navigate them a bit more easily. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the ConvertKit plugin on WordPress to get everything set up really easily. So, I'm signed in here to ConvertKit, but I'm also signed in to my another WordPress website over here. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to show you simply by going to plugins, add new plugin. We're going to add the ConvertKit plugin to our website. Type in ConvertKit, one word. We're going to install it. Activate it. You see, we now have the ConvertKit plugin and a settings link here. But for ease of access in the future, we're actually going to go down to settings down the bottom here and click ConvertKit. And this is where you'll find all your settings. So, what we're going to do, we've actually got to connect up to ConvertKit. So, by clicking here, I'm going to get my ConvertKit API key and API secret and paste them into these fields. And because I'm logged into ConvertKit, clicking that link will open a new tab. I can copy the API key. Paste it. I can head back into account settings where it says API secret. I click show, highlight that, copy, and paste. I then save those changes. And you'll see we're now linked up. There's a series of tools here as well you can check out if you've got time. It's not necessarily anything in particular that you want to, but yeah, if it feels a bit more technical, it's worth checking out. But going to general over here, I can actually choose the default form. So I'm actually going to choose the PAL form here and save those changes. So the way that works now, I've actually got a default form for my entire website. So if I go up the top here, visit the website, which I've opened in a new tab. If I go into my blog, open up a blog post. I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a form I've created here on ConvertKit. Um, it's not the most attractive form, but it's showing up and it's good to go. That's how easily you can get a form set up on your website using ConvertKit. But there's more to it than that. The other thing is over here, we've got our sidebar. If I head into here and go to Appearance and Widgets, I've got ConvertKit form here. I can drag that across and then pick the form that I want. So once again, I choose the power form. And these are all easily set up. If I go into my ConvertKit settings and go into forms, all the forms that I create here below, including the landing page, which I've got another video showing you how to use a page on your website as a landing page. I'll just replace it with the landing page you create. But all these are showing up on the plugin. So if I go back here, you can see they're all here. But if I head back to this page here and refresh, you can see my form has shown up on the sidebar. So you've got a whole bunch of options, which are really cool. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time because this is a quick little video. It doesn't need a lot of attention. It just needs to show you how you can get set up. But if I edit this post, because I've already been on this website and viewed a pop-up, the pop-up's not going to show up because I've been here too many times. But if I scroll down to the bottom, you see I've got a convert kit area here. I can choose a form. Now I can choose any one of these forms, including a pop-up or a slide, and it will actually use that pop-up on the page automatically. So that's another way that I can get a form on this website, not necessarily at the footer of the page, but having a pop-up or a slide show up on that blog post as well. So if you've got a particular blog post that you want to have a different opt-in for, you can create a unique form for it and choose it here to better target your customers. And then you can even tag for your automations down here if someone's actually viewing a page. So that's one really cool feature of this plugin also. But if I go to a page over here, so instead of a post, I go down to pages. Now, I do have another video on this, but for the sake of the video, I'll go to subscribe here. Now I can actually choose a landing page like I've created before and switch and use that landing page instead of my WordPress page. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I've got a video on that if you want to check that out. But 
by simply installing the ConvertKit plugin and linking up your API keys, that is how you can have everything just linked up perfectly on your website. Really easy, super quick. As you can see, this video has barely gone for five minutes and I've already been able to set up a couple of forms on the site um, that are pre-existing. So that's the power of the ConvertKit plugin. Now, if you do want to sign up for ConvertKit, I will put, pop a link up on the screen. This is an affiliate link, so I do earn a commission if you do decide to sign up. But this has definitely got the most powerful automation uh, software in the world for email newsletters. So if you want to set up a personalized funnel for people based on what they're looking for, you can better use your email list to serve your customers and therefore you'll have more success. So it's a really awesome piece of software. I highly recommend it. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time.